I'm digging right back into that cedar wood pile because somebody left a comment recently on this bowl. RNTT Reed suggested that I make a sphere and call it Jupiter. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This will be my first sphere. I've never made one before. So I'm just going to go through a process that, that seems logical to me. So I picked a suitable short log, made a cylinder, and then started shaping the cylinder into the sphere. I'm starting with a roughing gouge. And then I switched to a bowl gouge for the majority of the rest of the project. Just switch back and forth, right hand, left hand, working on each side until I've got something that resembles a sphere. Once I get it close to where I want to be, I cut the ends off so I can begin pivoting the piece. In order to complete the sphere, I have to be able to rotate it and approach it from different angles. But first, I have to make a couple jam chucks so I can do so without damaging the sphere. So for one of the chucks, I'm using the, uh, the longer waist piece that I just cut off. And on the other side, a waist block that's mounted onto a faceplate. I want to cut these deep enough, not so that the sphere fits perfectly, but so that the edges of where I'm cutting press against the sphere and hold it in place. I hope that made sense. So once the sphere is between jam chucks, I'm able to cut on it and then turn it and cut on it from a different angle and then turn it and cut on it from a different angle again. I did that six or seven times. But it was just a matter of stopping the lathe and loosening the, the tailstock and spinning it, well, just like you see there as I'm sanding it. I sand from 150 to 500 grit, and here I'm just taking off a high spot with a round nose scraper, and then I re-sand after that. I didn't design the sphere around these knots, but I'm glad that they showed up where they did. At the right angle, one of the knots looks very similar to the big storm that's on Jupiter. So it just fits the design perfectly, really. And I put about three coats of linseed oil on this sphere.
in response to a comment from Travis Hyatt, who thinks I sound like somebody. The car's on fire, and there's no driver at the wheel. I do read your comments, and I appreciate them. I do my best to take the time to answer your comments. That being said, if you have any project ideas and want me to consider them, post them in the comment section. I appreciate it. The grain found in these logs from that tree just continue to amaze me. Fire. Swirls. Storms. Truly amazing. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers, old and new. I really appreciate you. You motivate me. Thanks for helping my channel grow. Semper Fi.